So a lot of people ask me, how did I get a actual steering wheel on my Fnatic wheelbase? Because it comes, you know, with the Fnatic other wheel with the buttons and all that. So I bought this emulator, simulator type thingamajingy. It's a tiny simulator, it's called, right? And it tricks the wheelbase into actually thinking that what's in here is the, like what's connected is the actual wheel that goes to the wheelbase. So in the process, you buy this, ping, and that's about 50 bucks. And I'll place the links in the description. There's not a sponsored video, but you're going to need the QR1 or whatever quick release you have that goes to a uh, ping to your shaft. And then you need the adapter because you got to get them six bolts in there. And this is 75 bucks, the QR1 after taxes and all that. So you in 50, right? For the little thing, 75. And this adapter was about 50 bucks. They got a more, a least expensive one now. They came out with a new one. I think it's 30 bucks or something like that. I'm not sure. But I wanted this one because it says SRM, whatever. Then I bought the SIM. I mean, the slim uh, version of quick releases with the button, like the NRGs and all that, it looks like. And it's super durable. And I got a way more expensive one that actually costs a hundred and something dollars. And here's the thing. This one costs $9. And it's my go-to one. It's amazing. And you won't even believe where I bought it at. AliExpress. I bought two of them and I'm ordering four more this week because I have a lot of wheels and you need the back piece to keep spinning, you know, and putting the other wheels. It needs to have the back piece that connects to it. And I'll show you in a minute. So this wheel was also 30 bucks on Amazon on sale is a RAS TP. Now it feels good especially for sim is a regular the same steering wheel you put in your car i've taken these steering wheels and used them in an actual car facts so i have way more expensive steering wheels but guess what this is my go-to wheel it's funny right like i got other wheels that cost 200 90 60 50 and this is the one i paid the least for and it's the one i used the most <laughs> that's wild but with that being said let me show you something was up with the mic the sound but here we go this wheel is amazing but bing and you could get it on sale probably for like 50 bucks now the only thing I saw about this wheel is that when it spins, there's like a little lump that goes like, I don't know, I see it goes like, and it comes towards you. And it's because of this part right here is like out a lot. It's a deep dish. So I don't know if that's a defect on it, but when you lay it on a flat surface, it's flat. You get it? And some of them, when they come bad, you can see a gap in between you. That's how you test them. Put it on sur on a flat surface. And this one seemed good. So maybe I'm bugging out. So I think it looks overall pretty decent. It goes with my whole theme of my setup, my color. These things don't go in there. This is actually a pop filter. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what I mean? From my microphones. And I order a lot of them. I'm always changing them. Because I'm a clean dude. <laughs> so I put them in everywhere even though i got uh horn buttons but for some reason none of them fit or look the way i want them to look so until i find a real good one that's what goes there normally people just leave the hole they don't even use this part but i like to be different different is always good 
But with that being said, I take care of my wheels. I cover them up. Or I put them up on the wall with the holder. But I, I'm getting so many wheels that... <laughs> uh, you buy a wheel, you're spending a money on the wheel, then you're spending money on something to hold it with, something to clean it with, something to screw it in with. And this wheel is on sale on Amazon, I think, for 80 bucks. This is Swave. It's by a company named Renando, something like that. But it's cool. And it comes with the yellow stitching inside. Mine's didn't, although I ordered it with the yellow. They just sent this one, so I was a little upset about it, but I wasn't going to send it back. I was like, I'll just buy another one. I really wanted to use a deep dish wheel. Now, the red one that I just showed you is smaller than this one. This one is bigger, so it's going to always feel like probably better to you because it feels like the actual size of a car steering wheel, just like this one. So is this one is deep. It actually looks deeper than the red one, but they're about the same. And this is the piece that you need that goes inside that quick release. So if you're paying only 9 bucks for the slim quick release, and let's say you're just looking for a bunch of these back pieces and they're like 5 bucks, 4 bucks, you might as well just buy the whole thing. You get it? I haven't found them alone, so I just ordered the whole thing and I got extra different i just buy different colors of these so if i ever want to switch i got different colors and you never can have enough you see i got uh a few multiple hand brakes i got multiple stick shifts i got doubles quadruples <laughs> of everything so this steering wheel people ask me does it throw out ink i use gloves but it actually does it stopped a little bit right now because I left it out so I guess it dried up and using it once in a blue it just like kept coming out I seen people after having theirs for a few months they look like the suave wore out and you can see like a little leathery they actually look ugly on their video respectfully so hopefully that don't happen to mine I actually don't use it all the time because I try to conserve it and take care of it I like it but again I don't like it more than the $30 wheel. I don't know why. This is cool, right? This yellow thing didn't come with it. Actually, this yellow piece, it came with, it came, this wheel came with this black piece. And I just switched. This yellow one came with that gold wheel. So in the pictures on Amazon, they make it look like this yellow blends in identically with that gold. And it's not the way it goes. And this is a hard plastic, like, like probably a metal, but like a, a super hollow feeling like plastic. And of course, you only pay $30, right? And this wheel, <clears throat> there's the more expensive one, uh, more than double the money, came with this black one, this solid metal. You get it? And this is a heavy wheel. So keep that in mind, because I put this on the Logitech G920, with a hub, a quick release, everything. And that thing was rattling, shaking, because it was, again, it was on a desk. I didn't have it on a sim rig. Once you put it on a metal rig holding it, they're sturdy like this rig, then you're good. This is the GT Omega right here, this whole piece with the pedals on the bottom, the, the uh, acceleration, the clutch, and the brake. This is the GT Apex, but not the regular, the Omega GT Omega Apex, Apex Omega, however you want to call it. But make sure it's the Apex, not the classic, because this has future proof. You can actually add your racing wheel to it. You can make it longer. There's a lot of things you could do to it. They run out of it pretty quick. When I got it, it was a few hundred dollars. You could get it now for like 150 or what have you. Uh, uh, I think it was. Yeah, it's on sale for 150. But with that being said, boom, the wheels are amazing. Uh, do I miss the regular wheel from the wheelbase? I still use it from time to time because what it has. 
you can still feel all the force feedback, but it just has like missing like the vibration. And some people don't need vibration, but I like it sometimes. I'm not too much trying to feel like I'm driving a real car, although that's great because it feels that way. I drove for a living, so I don't have a fever of driving. I have a fever of having fun. I'm just here to have fun. You get it? If I want to feel like I'm driving in real life, <laughs> I go to my garage, pop, pull out the car, and go drive, right? <laughs> or I'll steal a car outside. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so this is how you do it. You go like this, you press on it. I have it I have it real uh, like in there, like really tight. So the screws need to be sticking out from the back piece from this. This is people's problem. Why it was rattling people like these things are no good. None of them, the NRG that it has rattle, mines don't. You see right here, you see the screws. I think I did set this in a video before, but I felt like doing it because a lot of people ask me. So you see how they sticking out right here? They need to stick out from the back piece. So I guess these little things sticking out are pushing whatever it is that is rattle, and it don't rattle only when it gets loose, like if the screws get loose. So what I did was I always leave one a little in so it gives space. You need space in there to lock it, plop, and open it with ease, with like with no problem, ping. If not, you're going to be trying to grip it. That thing is, is huge. To go like that and your hands are sweaty, you're drifting, it's hot, you're not going to get a grip on that, especially if you got gloves. You're going to be slight. You're going to be mad. So I push in on the wheel a little bit. Sometimes I put my body on it, pop, and then I turn, ping, is off, right? But if it's tight, it's gonna give you a hard time. You just gotta get up, right? But it comes out quick, but you just gotta get up, like, uh, you know, like crouch over a little bit towards the wheel, or, or crouch in towards the wheel, should I say? Move in towards the wheel, pop, and spin it. You get it? But sometimes people don't wanna go through all that while you live. You just wanna pop, do it quick. But life doesn't work that way. I leave the left one loose a little bit, and I keep a tool like this, pop, this tool kit comes with me a bunch of tools in it. I pay like 21 bucks. Actually, it was a gift from my wife, I think for Father's Day a few years back. I was seeing the iFixit was like $200, and this looks identically the same. And I was like, yo, you could get me this for Father's Day, I think. Uh, she wanted to get me, she'll get, you know, the more expensive one, like, like, I don't have a problem doing it for her. That's what family does, right? But I told her, just get me this. Don't worry about it. And it works the same exact as I fix it, all that, because I have those things. And they look, the, the only thing, the name is missing. <laughs> you get it? And it's been holding on. It's amazing. And I built computers with this, take apart phones, everything with the $20 toolkit that is all you're going to need to build computers and fix electronics. Facts. So I keep this right here, and sometimes I gotta loosen this one. So not all the time, once in a blue, you get it? It's still sturdy right now, and that one is loose because the other ones are so far out. You get it? Like this, ping. So here's what you do. You grab it here, and you spin. Once you spin, pop, it comes out. Because this one is loose, is in, and this one a little bit, I guess. So this side, most of them are like either a little in, but you can see the other ones are out. It depends. You're going to feel what you need. Unless you take this out, because there's two quick releases here, and and you buy this $75 one, right? And $50 hub. And however much you pay, or then you won't even need this, right? If you buy a $75 quick release, right? <laughs> and uh, and you need that little adapter, right? Because it lets this screw in. And then it got screws on the other side that lets any wheel screw in. Then you don't need this. 
and then you attach the wheel to that, but you got to buy as much wheels as you have. Like if you got three wheels, you need three of these setups. You get it? 75, 75, 75, 50, 50, 50. You could do that or you could do 75, 50, 9999999999999 as much wheels as you're going to get is 9 right and if you could get the back piece for 2 dollars somewhere you don't have to buy this i just didn't look like where can you buy just the back piece that fits here i didn't want to go through all that i want to make sure when i get it pop it goes you get it but it'll come out less expensive for you you get it and in here what i did was i put one layer of black electrical tape from here, like in a U shape, all the way here in a U shape. But all this is empty. And the other half is one layer because I did it with two and it was too tight. I had to get it out and put it again. So there was no, because it, it didn't let it move. So there's no sound and no big rattle in there because the electrical tape is in there and it's probably bouncing off of that. You know, it's a little rubbery, <laughs> believe it or not, electrical tape. You could see it, like, in there, in the edge. I don't know if the light will let you see, but it's, a li it's in there, ping, and it's just satisfying. So this little $9 quick, uh, slim quick release to help the situation is amazing. This pin pops right out. There's a spring in there. When you open it, you go pop. So you could put the electrical tape. You could try it without the electrical tape, so you ain't got to do all that, but it's simple. If I could do it, anybody could do it. <laughs> and you see now, you don't got to stay with the Fanatic wheel. There's a hole, and the pins are in there. You don't got to worry about the wheel pins breaking in here when you're spinning, and now you got to spend a whole six to 800 probably probably $1,000, depending on the base that you want just for this piece it's definitely 600 and up right or something like that or that or you will have to change the shaft and the new shafts right now this piece right here alone pop go for like 4.99 right the new one a qr2 i haven't even updated it i don't see the need to right now right uh my wheel works fine i got this piece the clam i got the full round one uh, I just haven't put it because it hasn't start moving up on me. So if nothing's broken, I don't fix it. Right? Like, I want to do it, but I'm like, what about if I do it and then it starts coming out? Like, I touched it. You get it? I should have just left it. It's not bothering nobody. You can't even really see it there. You get it? But, but everybody was changing them, so it was pulling, coming out on people towards them. That hasn't happened to me. And as you can tell, I put a lot of heavy stuff on it. So it's pretty sturdy. So other than that, it's been an amazing. It lines up with the line right there. And you're going to see the line right here. Put it in. Pop. I normally don't do it that way. I do it with the whole wheel. Blah! And I like to push in anyway. Because remember, it pulls out on people when it's messing up. So I always push it in. I have everything connected to a little uh, dock over there that I have. I have a few of them. Uh, that dock is like, when it first came out, it was like $407 each. I got like three or four. Uh, and I held on to them. Believe it or not, the ports, uh, 3.0, I think, or 3.1, they blew anyway, so that's good, right? Uh, and they was ahead of their time. I have it for years. And those numbers just, people just started learning about those things. So I knew at one point I was going to use it for something. My PC is nowhere near here. It's on the way other side of this studio. And I have a 25-inch cord uh, cable coming all the way here. Pop. And that little hub powers this whole system. So it's not connected directly to my PC. It's actually getting power from that hub that has its own pop power uh plug and all that so it's getting power from there and it feels amazing you get it so it's not it's not running like straight on my pc killing my pc a lot of stuff is running from there some of my lights the light in front of me uh my camera 
a lot of stuff. Ping, ping. There's other hubs. There's other USB ports in front of it. So it's been amazing. I have another one on my content creation desk uh, on the other side. Pop. And sometimes when I plug in the Logitech G920, I plug it into the other hub. You get it? Because nowadays, the way the computers work, you unplug a USB thing, the computer forgets about it. You try to put it back, you got to download stuff again. It don't recognize it. I'm like, bro, I used you there for a whole year. And that's the way these things work nowadays. I don't know why, but it is what it is. It's annoying, but I guess it's safe too, right? So all this, I added the sword. Of course, you know this, uh, the famous Thrustmaster stick shift that everybody wants. It's not a need, it's a want. It goes for $200 on sale. The price hardly never, never in life changes. For the last seven years, 10 years, it's been the same price. Everybody dream a lot of drifters and sim races is to get this. I didn't need it. I wanted it because I got other stick shifts. And I even got some in the box, brand new, that I never used. <laughs> uh, the Moza handbrake. But I have a lot of other handbrakes that are just there. I bought them or got them, never used them. Facts. As a matter of fact, one of these handbrakes around there was a gift from my boy from the family in Florida. Uh, the Angeles family, my brother, my pops over there, they looked out and got that for me, I think for my birthday or Christmas. So it was amazing, right? And it's good because uh, I don't get gifts from nobody. I spend my hard on earned working money on my products. And I spend the same money I generate right here on the internet. I promise you. So you got to invest in your own career. You got to invest in what you love doing. And at the same time, uh, if you can make a dollar out of it, it's a blessing, but it's still a win-win situation. Because if you lived the life I was living, I would have spent way more than the thirty-something thousand dollars I've spent already on tech equipment for my setup, on other things in the street. So why not, right? With that being said, check this out. You see, sometimes you got to grip with both hands. That's it, because my hands are slippery. <laughs> you get it? And it's metal, and it's a shiny metal. Weird. Ping. Yep. Super weird. So I downloaded new tracks in here, and it's been amazing. And a settle. And I've been using all these new cars that I got. Go to controls, pull my handbrake, Bob. I don't know why mine always does that. I guess the way I have it set up. We just ride it today. Let's check it out for like two or three minutes. Oh, this map is like a red original, I think, a settled track, if I'm not mistaken. So it's kind of cool. It's not too fancy, not too... But it's cool. Check it out.
that. <laughs> Remember this guy told me you got to learn the tracks and that's a big tip learn the tracks and the car if it goes with the track this car's a little too slow for the track for me Bing. Let me know what you think, bro. It wasn't about my drift, it was about the wheel. <laughs> For real. <laughs> 